my greatest compliment, and I, I, I will continue to say this for the rest of my life. At one point in my life, I had discovered that my dad had bought a turntable, and it was time to start buying vinyl records to spin on this turntable. I believe the fourth album that I bought was Chuck Berry's Greatest Hits, a double album. I put on side three. It never left the turntable for about four months. Mm -hmm. I found myself, along with my fellow members of the Circle Jerks, on a disastrous tour. We were signed to Mercury Records, and Mercury Records couldn't reach behind themselves and grab their asses. They could line up, they could have all of the staff members line up next to each other, and they could all reach around back and not grab one ass cheek. We're on this disastrous tour. It's like we're, we're coming to the break. We're in St. Louis, Missouri. We're playing at a place called Mississippi Nights, on the Mississippi River, and we're jamming away. There's 800 kids just going fucking bananas. They're going ape shit. It's just like the energy is undeniable. The, this is what a this is like what a real rock punk rock whatever you wh whatever kind of gig you want to describe it as. This is what's supposed to be happening. All of a sudden. There's a break between a couple of our songs, and there's a guy standing at the front of the stage, and he's waving, and he's wearing his little skipper hat, little black guy, waving, and our roadie recognizes him, our, our stage guy recognizes him, and immediately runs to the front of the stage. He knows who it is. Mm -hmm. He comes to us and says he's pointing at him as uh, a couple of people are helping him get up on stage because you, you don't say no to this guy. When he steps up and says he wants to play with you, you play with him. You, you toss any of your mentality right out the goddamn motherfucking window. He's standing on stage. He's standing in front of Greg Hetson. Our, our roadies, like excited Th this guy wants to play with you and it's like greg looks at us he says um to our roadie cut my rig in half turn my rig into t t two parts mm -hmm. you know we got two marshall heads we got two marshall cabinets and there sits my les paul jr which was basically what Les Paul created for Mary Ford, a dainty, slim version of a Les Paul, only we would call it an SG. Right, SG, yeah. So Ch Chuck Burp. Berry's playing this Les Paul SG, and Greg looks at us and just says, play along. You won't know what he's playing until he gets to the chorus. <laughs> and I'm standing there. I'm in awe. I'm this, this guy. He wrote the book. There would be no Keith Richards. No there would Bob be no Dylan. No Johnny Thunders. No Beatles. No Beach Boys. None of them. None of them would be. None of them would exist if it wasn't for the blueprint that this guy created. And we get through playing. I, 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 I don't. I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm just like. I'm floored. My jaw's on the ground. How, I, how I'm, many songs I'm, did he look, do? I'm, we played one song. It was Roll Over Beethoven, and the kids went just fucking nuts. They would have they burned that place to the ground if they would have had the opportunity to. I left out Angus Young. Mm -hmm. Because Angus Young is also, if, if there's an altar, and they're all looking up at Chuck Berry... It would, it would be Angus Young sitting sandwiched in between Keith Richards and Chuck Berry and Johnny Thunders would be there. and Bob Dylan got like, his phrasing, so much of his phrasing right from Keith, I mean Chuck Berry. And you, you have George Harrison and John Lennon and, you know, the Wilson brothers and the Beach Boys, all of these guys, they would, they, they, they would be lost if there was no Chuck Berry. On his way out... As he was exiting, see, because he saw the energy. He saw what was going on. He saw that this is, this is what rock and roll is supposed to be about. 
on his way out, as he was saying goodbye to the club owner, he pulled the club owner to him and said, you tell these guys that, this, that you, these guys are one of the greatest rock and roll bands I've ever seen. That's, you don't... That's amazing. You don't get a better compliment than that. No. That's incredible. 